Hi right, folks, welcome back to uh, Glasgow News. It's Saturday the 29th of June 2019 and I'm on Daily Record. This is a story by David Campbell. <coughs> um, it surrounds that guy there and that's what he done to that lassie there. His name's Paul Anderson, he's from Ayrshire. And it says here he carried out a brutal assault on Carly McCabe. A lovely looking girl there that's been battered. Um while abusing steroids. There's another picture of her down here. She looks amazing. I love her. <laughs> but she looks great, doesn't she? So let's get back to the the headline. It says here I didn't want to die. Mum's horror as Tinder bodybuilding brute launched a cocaine fueled attack. Paul Anderson has been spared jail despite posing a high risk to women with Carly McCabe, the serial domestic abuser's fifth victim. Oh, right, okay, so you're wondering why why has he escaped jail if this is his fifth and he's considered a danger, a serial um, domestic abuse perpetrator? It says here, a serial domestic abuser has been spared jail for attacking his fifth victim after a judge ruled he would pose less of a risk to women if he was on the streets. Now that does seem, that does seem counterintuitive, doesn't it? Counterproductive. But what she's actually saying is, if she was to jail him for four months, he would get no treatment. He will get treatment if he's given a community service, maybe, um, you know, working in the community. Like, I think he got 250 hours. He had to pay some money. But he has to go on a domestic abuse course. So I think that's what's in the judge's mind. Um, Paul Anderson, it says he met Carla McCabe on Tinder. He went on to attack her during their six-month relationship. He carried out the brutal assault while abusing steroids, cocaine, ahead of a bodybuilding show. I don't believe it's anything to do with that. It's just his nature. Wouldn't it matter if he was on drink? cocaine or steroids, it doesn't matter, it's his nature, alright, he doesn't feel any shame or he has any hesitation about assaulting a woman, a girl, that's, he's got used to it, he's exerting his, his power in that way, for whatever reason. Um, Miss McCabe, 38, had no idea Anderson who was 41, had a host of previous conviction, convictions for mistreating four, so that's four former partners, including assaults, breach of peace and stalking. Uh, it says, and the thug stayed true to form, turning the mother of four into his fifth victim and, uh, and attacking her so savagely she thought she was going to die. And, I mean, her face is an absolute mess there. You know? Miss McCade said Anderson grabbed her by the hair, kneed her in the face and dragged her from the sunroom, wish I had a sunroom, into her kitchen and smacked, I've got a sunbed in one room, does that count? Uh, uh, smacked her head off the worktop. He then threw her to the ground, punched and kicked her on the face and back. I mean, hello, holy Toledo, you know, that's not just some sort of random, uh, I lost my temper there and smacked to her, you know. Whatever. That's a concerted assault, isn't it? That's a mindset. She was, said she was screaming for her kids and telling them to stop. It's a shame. She thought she was going to die. The guy was just... She's never seen any violence like that, so... Anderson of Barnmill, Ayrshire, claimed he had not done anything wrong at her home in Paisley, insisting he had acted in self-defence. That's when he came up in court. That's the kind of guy he is. He admitted breaking his bail conditions by speaking to Miss McCabe in a phone call a few weeks after. Uh, unaware that Anderson had convictions for abusing his four former partners, including three assault convictions, a domestic stalking and breaches of the peace towards his ex-girlfriends, the jury deleted the majority of the assault charges against him, convicting him of assault on Miss Cave by pushing her. There you go. 
So the jury didn't get to see his previous. He knows the system. So he went, uh, not guilty. You see, because uh, that was the way to go. He knew his previous would not be revealed to the jury. Anyway, there he's there. Let's stay him, that beard. He's obviously just follows fashion, didn't he? He's got that beard. He looks like something out of Afghanistan. I don't get it with the beards. I remember when you see some movies of the, the 20s or maybe the 1890s, there's guys running about with big long beards because they didn't have razors. But we've got razors now and there's nothing great about a big smelly beard. This is just a personal opinion. Stinking. Anyway, so there you go, folks. I like to see um, her. I love her. <laughs> Um, Carly McCabe. Yo, Carly. Let's give you a bit of a shock. Hope you're okay. Um, and you can get on with your, your life without a need you like that. Alright, folks. Uh, if you like the content, uh, mind uh, hit the like button, share and subscribe. Peace out.